and i am here at word camp bangkok this is going to be my first word camp that i am going to attend internationally as well as locally this is going to be my first word camp so let's go ahead and collect the passes and here is the registration desk from you where you can get the passes attendees sponsor speakers we are the attendees here's the quick map for camp asia 2023 here we are and this is how the booth looks you can find various company booths related to wordpress and then go have a chat crack exclusive deals and get some free swag also so today i am at hosting a booth at wordcamp asia and today we are having jedrus with us again here's how the booth section looks like and you can find booths related to different wordpress organization wordpress tools wordpress plugins even we are having a booth by google and they were promoting site plugin there we have a booth of woocommerce jetpack different automatic companies automatic sub brands right now it's all empty i am recording this i recorded this when it was all over so you can have a better look at it It looks good. Good. I wasn't expecting WordCamp to be this huge, and but it's it looks nice. There are different halls for the tracks and. Great! Super exciting to be in the first comeback uh, WordCamp Asia, and pretty nice to meet people, especially recurring people who came to WordCamp EU, WordCamp US. Yeah, it's been a uh, great opportunity to meet with meetup organizers that work with the uh, WooCommerce program and get to see them in person and use it as a way to build relationships for. I think one thing that I want people to know is that we're here to talk to you. We're here to get feedback from you. So definitely take advantage. I'm a developer advocate at Woo. So I want to talk to the developers. I want to know what their experience is. I want to know your pain points. Um, yeah, so come give us feedback. That's what we're here for. Right. Yeah, and we want to meet you. We want an opportunity to grow the community even further and get to know as many people as we can. Yeah. Got it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Kapash. This, this is my 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 third third of board board camp. Third board yes. camp. Yeah, this is my third board camp. How was it? Uh, it was. It's it's amazing. The the kind of enthusiasm people have here. I I, I really like it. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. On to the eighth floor, we are having here wellness room, quiet room, networking area, rest rooms. So we'll quickly check that one out. This is, I think, is a networking area. You can have a seat. You can talk. So we don't have a lot of people here. So it's a good place to chill. And let's go back to the quiet room, wellness room. We can quickly check check that one out. wellness room okay here they usually have a yoga session they had a yoga session earlier in this room and apart from that there's a third room which is quiet room this is kind of quiet and here's how the booth looks like from the top i'll just zoom it in so you can see out there is a giveaway going on there are some free stamps that are getting distributed i think as a word camp attendee you can get these cool collectibles for free Uh, from their swag collection center, this one, and here are the collectibles that you can collect. It looks cool. So by coming to WordCamp, you can also get some freebies. 
सो यू कैन गेट सम फ्री स्वैग्स लाइक टी शर्ट स्टिकर्स और कंपनी ब्रांडेड स्टफ बाय विजिटिंग द बूथ्स एंड इंक्वायरिंग अबाउट दैम and this was how the main stage area looks like i liked it for for the main stage area it was really nice it was divided in particular sections different sections for speakers staff and the general attendees overall it was really huge and on point in my opinion we're doing back to the project There's a lot of things going on in the project as we heard earlier. It's about priorities for the project and unfortunately I don't have to say in that. But coming on to food, this was one of the things that I liked about this word camp. Food was available for different people in different categories, uh non-veg, vegetarian, halal, every kind of food was available. Drinks were there, uh, soft drinks, uh, juices, coffees. and here we are having some free coffees plus some orange juice i think having orange juice to keep you healthy to keep you going water some healthy snacks now i don't have any idea what this is but it is vegetarian and these are some cool sweets How was your experience here at WordCamp Bangkok? Ah, where to begin? It's very difficult to wrap my head around this. Um, each of the WordCamps uh, are, are different. Right. Uh, this one was uh, different from what uh, we've been to in a very very good way. Um, I liked the venue. Uh, I liked the uh, intensity of the attendees. uh one of the most surprising things is how many clients we met here uh but overall it was it was it was great to experience and bangkok is just great <laughs> as well so i think that adds to the whole positive experience but uh we had a blast this is probably like the second work camp i've been to and um it's everything from the icon siam the the building um all the freebies they're giving out like all these little games and stuff it's amazing bro like it's really really good you know like it's it's amazing and there's so many people here that like i get to meet face to face mm. and when you meet someone face to face versus emails like right. <laughs> face to face you just get a whole better picture of who they are who their company is and you build a much better relationship mm. uh when it's face to face um but i would but i do think the food here is <laughs> the, the the food they were serving at work camp wasn't the best and there was even an after party which was free for all the attendees and i'll just mute the music here because of some copyright issues but it was really good <laughs> here speaking at the event speaking at what i i absolutely loved it what can be sure the atmosphere is electric i i love what the organizers have done amazing event and as a speaker the support i got was immense like the the team is really well prepared they really gave me all the support i needed and it was awesome yeah. and the entire speaking experience was fantastic the mcs were fantastic everything it was so much fun i absolutely enjoyed it uh, it was a wonderful experience what do you think who should attend these word cam events um i have a i have a saying i i uh, throw at everybody in a in a flagship event mm-hmm. um if you earn your living with wordpress mm-hmm. the question is not should you attend mm-hmm. the question is is only um what is the reason you don't attend there can be family issues there can be like there is it's not about like uh, you are forced to be here mm-hmm. but the flagship events are the best way of exchange ideas mm-hmm. the best way of connect to people mm-hmm. and speaking of connecting to people i have one thing i always tell like people i i i, I run into mm-hmm. who have um who are new to wordcamps or just had a few of them 
and I, and I tell them to please don't go from session to session to session to session. Pick a few talks that you really want to see mm. and otherwise try to connect with the people um, that are at mm. the event. Come with an open mind. Just, just come with an open mind and uh, talk to people, network with folks. Right. So just open your mind would be the one thing that I would like to share with everybody. So to conclude this video, to conclude WordCamp 2023, uh, to be frank, this was my first WordCamp and I wasn't expecting it to be this good and it exceeded my expectations for sure. Uh, I am looking forward to attend WordCamp next year also and not sure about Europe right now. But apart from that, this one was really good. I made a lot of good connections, had some good interviews, some podcasts that is going to come on this channel, learn something new, made some good connections, had a good time. And I am even wearing this WordCamp Asia tee right now, <laughs> just to record this video, just to conclude this one. So I'm looking forward to attend the next one. And in my personal opinions, I will agree with Robert what he said that if you are living, if you are making a living through WordPress, through development, blogger or providing plugins, any type of service that is related to WordPress, then these are the events you should attend. You should network with people and in the long run, you will definitely learn something new which you can implement in your business. That's all from my side. Thank you Pesh for visiting our booth and I love you. I love your subscribers. Say hi to them. Say hi to WP Manage India. Say hi to Bangladesh and hello to India.